have been out of my house for a f for a while like i went to pune and all so now they are they have understood that he can take care of himself mm -hmm. and it is not like a typical indian family mm -hmm. so you have to come back at home by 9 10 or 11 12 you can stay in gurugram if you want mm -hmm. so that is the thing and basically for, we were planning to shift to gurugram but we didn't now we have bought a property here as well mm -hmm. so we are in gurugram yeah mm -hmm. in phase 1 only so we uh, so they have also changed their mindset even my parents who were not letting me go out of the house when i was in college so it is a very good thing i like that change yeah. big buildings mm. very good structure and the parties and all those care those basically uh, lured me to gurgaon so i just visited gurgaon like before before i wasn't able to reach gurgaon on my own i just visited once with one of my friends and it was very nice I, uh, my favorite place is cyber hub mm -hmm. so that kind of lured me to this point and uh, after that like it was all on the basis of the job because of the job that i had here in this building mm -hmm. so that's the thing now i can see yes i i have a very good network so that's why i'm coming to gurgaon right now So I like people here because all pe people from the whole country are in Gurugram. It's it's like a city wherein people can start their jobs and this career actually. So you can meet a lot of people. There are different personalities and different things here. So mm -hmm. it's very good. Mm -hmm. And I basically like working in this building. So ambience is good and Gurugram Gurugram is full of youth right now. At first it wasn't, but now it's full of youth. You can interact with people. I was a introvert. so now i am not an introvert so i am kind of an ambivert so i like coming to gurgaon and that is the only thing that lured me to gurgaon parties and big buildings and much more career growth mm -hmm. so at first when i was till 20 22 so it was all like all fun and all after 22 my mindset changed to the career orientation so that's why mm -hmm. most of the buildings are made by dlf and uh, actually in rohini or maybe in delhi so the there are no there are very less sky uh, skyscrapers there. so now the thing is delhi is very much developed but not in the all, all parts of the delhi are not developed like this so it's like you can come you can if you will go to cyber hub or maybe cyber city you just feel like you are back in foreign mm -hmm. so you like in a, in an american or a european state or something like that so it it basically like i like that kind of thing so mostly that is the thing mm. most of the companies big companies have start, set up their offices here so yes i and yes i agree on that part it is a melting pot mm. rural as in it is not rural anymore but the people who are from the rural part of gurgaon maybe they are natives here natives of gurgaon they are all filthy rich okay as soon as like till the time you are not talking to them you will feel like they are normal people but at the time when you start having conversation with them you'll understand whether they are natives or they are from different part of gurgaon or because you know you understand it was a barren barren land with agricultural land and it was sold to many of the builders and also they basically built gurgaon so now the point is you can differentiate between people but there is no clash because it's all about You, you can say different cultures when different cultures meet there may be that uh, there may be a some point at some point of time there may, may be clashes but it has reduced uh, like a lot now even the police is very good here so they it's not like they sleep here mm. okay on their duties at first it was like police the cops just slept in the night duties now they roam around every in every sector or in every road so they watch each and everything mm. so the crime rates have are very less in gurgaon now mm -hmm. at first it was like oh my god it's gurgaon you cannot travel to gurgaon in the middle of the night right still the fear is there but you understand when all the people are out in the middle of the night you can also go right mm -hmm. and now people have started even the natives have understood this thing yes we have to change most of my goals are monetary so it is driving me to that place wherein i can reach to those monetary goals okay when i when i'll be filthy rich i can be a philanthropist i cannot be a philanthropist right now 
right i cannot give phil- philosophy or maybe i cannot help people but this place is giving me that kind of exposure it is it is pushing me to those limits wherein i can reach those goals it is giving me belief that yes tushar you are having that potential you can do that because i have changed a lot in this past 7 to 8 months okay so this place is giving me that kind of exposure this place is pushing me there are certain other factors as well that have pushed me maybe relationships or maybe something else that has pushed me but yes this place can drive to a per- drive a person to their goals whether they are monetary or not out of like i had i chose bangalore mumbai pune and gurgaon so yes it is an option and uh, if i can i can say it is a good place to earn a lot mm. because it's you can understand only a small part of gurgaon is has just developed it is developing you can see many uh, most of the buildings are under construction most of the places are under construction and they are building very beautiful places so yes to be like i can i can i am having an aspiration that yes i can settle down in gurgaon yeah. for later part of my life like it is a very good place mm-hmm. it will be a very very good place as compared to the foreign countries as well mm-hmm. people are changing everything is changing structure or architecture everything is very good so all the things are done on a very are being done on a very good note mm. so it's a very good thing if you if anyone wants to like aspire to live in gurugram they can do it for later stages mm. okay as of now i am mostly concerned about the career growth so that's why mm. gurugram is a very good place to do that mm. my parents are very forward in the a uh, forward thinkers so they they would love it obviously they haven't explored gurugram at that level but yes many of the relatives are living in gurugram mm. they have told many good things so mm. it's a very good place and they'll be comfortable they will be i feel like i am in the right place because kind of life i want independent and all so the those all points just fit in gurugram like in this place uh, it, those all fit in so at first it was like parties and why do you, why do guys go to party is just for girls and meeting different people and all th- those kind of things yes but now it's career growth and yes so gurugram is a very good place right now it's a perfect place i believe that it is a perfect place to do all the things and uh, yeah there are many like minded people only the people who are like minded they remember the names they remember that yeah i have met this person only for months but still i remember yeah so this is the guy there are many people who are like minded they are career oriented people have come from assam and uh, i have met people from assam so who have who are working here uh, people from foreign even you came down so and uh, even from the north jammu kashmir himachal pradesh so there are many people even from up as well up kanpur lucknow so there are many people so whom i have met and they are also fitting in that sector so why they are fitting in because they are all like minded they have a growth orientation in their mind and they want to meet people they want to discuss they want to je- uh, gel up with different people mm. so there is a tt table here i didn't know may, i didn't knew like uh, no many people here so after i started playing tt so there are many people who just point at like so tushar come here let's play tt mm. so that is also a thing tt or foosball foosball table is there so it is a very good way of interacting with new people in india uh, if you aren't dressing well so uh, people won't be able to give you that much kind of importance it is indian mentality okay and uh, as i told you earlier i was not, i wasn't like this and i was very thin i usually i basically dealt with one of the disease that basically poured down my day, uh, weight to a very lower level mm-hmm. so then i started going to the gym and started working on my health and my uh, conversation skills like i can con- if i want to have a conversation how can i do that so gym helps a lot so it basically gives you patience so it uh, to, uh, tells you about patience what gym does is you have to just do those all six part exercises every week okay and you have to do it for a very long time so it's the same thing that you're doing but yes you have to be patient uh, you have to be patient and consistent in that case then only the results can come in mm-hmm. okay and whenever you learn patience and uh, you learn how to carry yourself so gym plays a very important role in this case dressing up basically tells other people yes this guy is something mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. okay in india not i don't know about foreign but yes in india or maybe this place if you are dressing well people will understand and will listen to you mm-hmm. in a way okay mm-hmm. if dressing up is not good because it's a youth oriented place right now and youth in india is basically they are all into brands and good clothes and fashion stuff each and everything so yeah dressing gym gymming and taking care of yourself if you are not having self care so then in that case you cannot have a place in this in this place mm. so it is a developing place but it is a cruel world you have to fit in you have to make your place inside there mm. so there are certain things that you have to do in order to take your personality to a level wherein people will listen to you mm. when i passed my 12th standard so i was uh, i had a disease which pulled down my weight and all so after i had to take medication for one year i was around 42 or 43 kgs uh when i was 18 so i was bullied a lot in college so i started going to the gym i followed a diet which was a loads of loads of food that i had to eat every day and i was literally very bored of it but yes when i saw the changes after an year so even after going to the gym for an year there were no changes when but when i saw changes coming in i started being regular there and uh, i i learned things about my body yes these are the things that i can uh basically like maybe i can i can develop those things and these things help actually people start noticing you yeah this guy was like that at that point of time and now look at him so they start appreciating they start looking at you they start how they want to have a conversation with you how did you do that mm. okay and uh, when i came into the working sector yes i didn't leave my gym gymming part and because it was a part of my life now so it helps you in anger management as well okay if someone is having very high anger issues so gym very uh, gym helps you a lot okay so i had that kind of things thing in me so even now as well but still gym is the place wherein i can channel my things my uh, it is very productive in order to maintain your body or maybe your mind peace of mind you can do that it helps you a lot mm-hmm. i have not been regular for the past two months for my uh, training in the gym okay due to my career or certain other factors but yeah uh, like how do i do that like uh, basically it is for just to channelize my anger if i am angry on something i usually don't take it on out on people or any anywhere else i usually take it out in the gym that helps me to channelize so what anger does is it basically wants you to do some activity if i am going to the gym i'll be pushing myself in the gym for maybe i'll lift heavy weights right and after lifting all those things and uh, after i leave the gym so all the things are gone from the mind all the anger is gone from the mind so and after and obviously i'm not a bell with the i can direct people like you have to do this thing you can do that and you can do this you can do that so i can do that so mm-hmm. i have that kind of peace of mind and relation with my gymming and all so mm-hmm. i usually balance it out mm-hmm. any energy whether you are calm or you are angry it needs to be channelized if you are calm in a situation where you de- don't need to be calm so what is the help of that calmness or maybe if you are angry at some place but that place doesn't require an anger so that is the thing so you can you have to channelize those energies mm. in every place if mm. you are intelligent well and there is a place that doesn't require intelligence mm. maybe like dancing you have to dance on in your own will up uh, however you like to dance you can dance but it's not a dance competition everywhere right you need not to be intelligent while dancing in your own mood or maybe in your own sector or place atmosphere so intelligence any energy that anything that is here so you need to channelize it in a proper way and a proper place suppose a new guy comes in gurgaon and he is not having a high paid job gurgaon is a place that can be expensive for people who are coming from a very small small city or something like that obviously that guy will be tensed how will i be managing my expenses and all those kind of things so people are frustrated but they are very happy on the weekends too mm-hmm. they are very happy on the weekends you can see you can go to the malls and you'll feel like <coughs> it's a flea market mm-hmm. these days otherwise in the starting parts people were scared to go to malls because they thought that it is very costly mm-hmm. it is a big place we don't know how what kind of people goes there maybe filthy rich goes there 
so we need to understand and we need to change so mm-hmm. in order to take out the frustration they go to parties mm-hmm. and anger yeah and they the drink <laughs> a lot of drinking yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like my partner should be like having those same kind of goals or maybe it should be goal goal oriented it should not be like I don't want to work afterwards okay work whether you earn more less or more more any like anything but you should work work gives you an exposure work helps you to basically um change or they it helps you to push push out push out of your comfort zone So yes I feel like my partner should be goals oriented should be oriented about career maybe not career maybe about business too obviously there are different things people want to do so anything that they want should they should be goals oriented career oriented business oriented anything but yes they should not sit at home and just live their life relationships and different people friendships they basically help you push push yourself you push yourself to basically attain a very good level mm-hmm. so in terms of relationship you need to have a good amount of money in your pocket to have a relationship these days mm-hmm. otherwise it won't be like a two way thing mm-hmm. because people are now they they choose relationships on the basis of money mm-hmm. these days i i believe that maybe all people don't believe that okay but what i have noticed there so that that is what i am telling you mm-hmm. you if you are having money you can have a very good relationship obviously many people don't have that kind of mindset but i have observed that it's a bitter truth mm-hmm. we can understand that it is a bitter truth you need to have some amount of money in order to uh, help your partner's need mm-hmm. so it is a bitter truth and if someone denies it maybe they are lying or maybe they are not lying maybe they are having that kind of mindset mm. so it's a 50 50 thing but in mm. my case i have observed the same thing one of my friend came from spain mm. uh last month she came so she told me one thing to share these days parents or maybe girls are looking for their own happiness on the expense of a different person maybe different person is their partner so she is a she is a like entrepreneur mm-hmm. in spain so she told me one thing so she is coming from a ba- from a family which is having a mindset that is not very forward thinking but she told me this thing and i have observed it people look for their happiness on the expense of different people or maybe their partners especially the people who are coming from a uh, state that is not that much developed first of all i think if i am going into a relationship i need to uh, i need to be at certain point so certain point as in in terms of money or maybe having a car maybe having a house mm-hmm. so those things i usually check uh, those are on my checklist if i am coming into a relationship i need to have these three things or you need to personally have personally right so then i can come in a relationship where nobody can question me all right in later part of the stages because in india we are if we are in a long term relationship it will be ending up in a marriage sometimes it happens it doesn't end up with a marriage so i have my personal checklist i i mean if i am completing that yes i can come into that but mostly it is girls who are looking who are maybe having that kind of mindset not boys because boys have a very uh, boys have a lot of responsibility to their families as well they change they they had they have to change at some point of time obviously their father is go- not going to work right so that is the thing so boys have to change at any point of time whether it is because of a girl or maybe it is because of the family but the mindset of having um, having the like a uh, wealthy boyfriend or maybe a wealthy partner girls do that mostly it is girls yeah and it is a truth and if a girl denies that you can just mm. have a conversation with her after a year or two there will be the, it, this point will come mm. it definitely puts pressure on the guys so my girlfriend is asking for this thing and if if i don't have the money mm. so it will end up in a fight okay maybe the girl is wealthy maybe the girl is not wealthy but they look for partners who are having that much potential who can take care of the needs mm-hmm. because sometimes people girls usually think that even if i don't work after marriage that won't make a difference if my partner is wealthy enough mm-hmm. or same goes for the boys as well maybe it is just one in a million case wherein guys don't have to work after marriage 
right in india i am not talking about the foreign countries or in gurgaon so it is one in a million case but yes boys have to work after marriage but girls think they have options either i can stay at home either i can work they have options and yes so people look at boys or relationships like that mm. and this is putting new kind of pressure right on guys yeah because and maybe in gurgaon maybe do you think this pressure is even increasing right. the guys not just money harm hmm. right it is definitely increasing because people are pushing themselves they are having businesses they are having good jobs they are having a lavish lifestyle they are having good lifestyle actually so every saturday sunday they are going to party every guy doesn't have the money to go party every weekend because they might not have a good job or maybe they they are not having a job that is paying them well so it is putting a pressure on the guys mm-hmm. it does put guys have to change like in terms of their speaking skills conversation skills they have to maintain their personality they have to maintain their bank balance they have to maintain a car may, maybe a house their bodies with their bodies each and everything so it is just not like i'll talk uh, talk on the behalf of the boys mm-hmm. they have to maintain all the things in order to just have a relationship or maybe a partner because it is it is not a foreign country wherein both of the people are on the same state maybe they are uh, just dutching on the expensive uh, expenses so they are not sharing the expenses india is having a different mentality but yes gurgaon is pushing all those kind of things all the people whether it's a male or a female it is pushing both of them mostly maximum ratio is for the male male population mm. it is totally understood by the indian like it is a indian culture it is our indian culture so we have to work. Mm. see a guy pushes himself when he met, meets a girl mm. okay they usually don't do this when they are in front of they are in their own group of boys or maybe male okay the change comes in when a girl comes in a boy's life or a male male's life right so they try to change and that change is very positive sometimes that change can be very negative sometimes you need to understand whether this thing that is going on when between a girl and a boy is going is channelizing each and everything in a positive way mm-hmm. so yes people when when they meet they try to change and they need to understand whether this change is positive or negative but yes in in this place gurgaon they are meeting each other and things are changing male mentality is changing female mentality is changing so that is a very good thing india is developing and gurgaon is contributing to that, that thing mm. so i love that ca- part mm. if people are not able to have a conversation they are not able to meet new person or they are having a same lifestyle each and every day mm. 9 to 5 job and then home and then sleep so sometimes it happens mm. people feel lonely okay but if they try and change so gurgaon is a very na- is a very good place that won't let you feel lonely if you are even going to a theater theater to watch a movie all by yourself you won't feel lonely there because there are people right beside you if you want to have a conversation you can start okay just try to be spontaneous at every point so and be ready maybe someone wants to talk to you as well mm-hmm. so first of all you need to be patient and you need to like you need to have an ability to train people according to your work so until and unless you are not able to automate your work after one month or two month you are not suitable for the job so first of all patience consistency automation is required you need to have an ability to train people you need to have an ability to understand the mindset of people so what this guy wants to have like to in order to make him work so there is a villain skill thing in my job there is a villain skill in every job there is a villain skill thing a person who is older in a company won't be having that much amount of will to work but he'll be having an ample amount of skill to work mm-hmm. and the guy who is new in the company they'll be having a less skill but a very high will mm-hmm. you need to understand which guy has that uh, or maybe which girl has that and which girl doesn't or maybe the person doesn't so that thing you need to have at least you need to have Uh, an observation a good observation for people to understand what their mentality is what drives them to work okay so first thing first you need to have all these kind of uh, qualities in order to attain that kind of uh, uh, authority over the team if you don't know every person in your team you cannot drive them mm-hmm. only one person can bring the negativity in the whole team so like i have a team of 25 people with me so 
even if one guy or one girl is demotivated they'll bring the whole team down mm. sometimes it requires to be serious sometimes it doesn't requires to be serious. if a guy is completing his target or a girl is completing his target i need not to be angry or very serious with them i can be jolly with them so in order to tell them yeah in a in a very jolly mood yes this week your target is complete next week we have to sort it out in a very soft tone so that they understand otherwise they'll be adamant i have completed my target i am not working so that change of mood is required but yes you need to have a professional boundary in between them otherwise they'll feel like i'm their friend and uh, this guy is defending me in front of the senior management and i can just tell him to do that they'll be taking me like uh, for granted if i am dressing good if i am having a good personality in terms of body or maybe speaking a uh, conversation skills and everything they look up to me they know that this guy is going to defend us but we have to have his back okay so personality plays a very good role if they are if you are having a good personality people are scared of you sometimes yes this guy is having a good personality and if he asks something to me and i don't have the answer maybe he'll think like this guy is not having that much intelligence or something like that they look up to me and i am the face of the team so dressing up or maybe gymming or maybe body language matters if i'll be slouching in the meeting like this so they'll be thinking this guy is not having that much etiquette so we have to be apt on every point disappointments um mm, as of now i cannot think of any but yes gurgaon can develop a lot more the people can change because it is having a lot of native mentality as well wherein all the people from the country like the country is having different expectations from gurgaon mm. it is in part of their structure on buildings they are having a foreign look but obviously the mentality needs to be changed of the natives or maybe the people who usually live here so that expectation the people who are coming from a different part of the country they are helping to change gurgaon and there are natives who want to change but it will take time so mm-hmm. that my expectation from gurgaon is that it should be as lavish as it can be like a foreign country or anything or maybe it uh, like put puts a benchmark or maybe a goal for different countries to develop like this mm-hmm. so my expectation is this from gurgaon yeah they can send a uh, set, set a benchmark they can set an example for different countries yes we were like this and now you can look at us and we are like this you have to change according to us mm-hmm. so it's full of youth and youth can help a lot gurgaon can become the inspiration yes yeah.